What's up everybody? I am doing a PlayStation 5 giveaway. We have hit monetization on the YouTube channel, so I want to give back to y'all. All we have to do is hit 10,000 subscribers, so subscribe and comment below PS5. If you comment on 10 videos, then you have 10 chances at this PlayStation 5. Thank you very much and good luck. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Glowstick and today we're going to be checking out the number one player out of New Jersey. He is 6 foot 3, 300 pounds and plays a defensive tackle position. Apparently he could also play baseball at the collegiate level so it's going to be interesting to see what he decides to do. But he is one of the most gifted athletic big, big guys out there at the high school level. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So here we go. Is it Tywone Malone? I, I know that I probably butchered that name. I apologize. And I see the Rivalry football over there. That is awesome. Uh, I actually played in the Rivalry series when I was in high school. We ended up winning one year by one point and uh, winning the other one by a overtime field goal. This guy is a big old boy right here at the D-tackle position. Does a swim move and gets the QB in the backfield. A great play right there, and he lets them know. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Some of these players that he's going against are huge, too. If he's 300 pounds, and to me, he's not even the biggest guy out there, they're going against some pretty solid competition right there. If you know anything about this team, let me know. Uh, right here, he is at the wide receiver position, makes a tackle. So he is athletic. He can catch. He can tackle. He can do everything right there. Great play. Not something you expect, seeing a 300-pounder run a route and come down with a two-point conversion right here. Going to just eat up the QB. I mean, if you're the quarterback, you got to feel sorry for this guy. <laughs> I mean, this, this poor QB, when you got 300 pounders just running at you full speed and just jumping on top of you, right there, eating the play up as well. Great play right there. And I love that he's rocking number 90. One of my favorite football players of all time, Julius Peppers, rocked that number as he eats him up right there, too. Oh my gosh. And they're saying this guy is as good at baseball as he is football. So I am just saying he is probably a stud when it comes to the baseball field right here. Running the uh, tight end position once again. Lays a player out on the block. Oh my gosh. This might be one of the most dominant football players that I have ever witnessed. I mean, nobody in front of him can stop him whatsoever. Even I, I mean, look at this. Off the snap, he pushes the center. I mean, two yards in the backfield. Wraps up, makes the tackle. R ridiculous. This guy is so dominant for his size. He is going to be a, an absolute stud at the next level. This is someone that I could definitely see being a defensive tackle at the NFL level. Right here, just shoots up the field. Had two people try to block him. At least one, and then one chipped. And he still ate up the running back for a loss right there. Great play once again. Right here, he is just going to show off his athleticism and speed and just power drives that quarterback. He had absolutely no shot on that play. He is going to be at the, uh, the wide receiver position, and he is going to be a lead blocker as he pushes that poor safety a solid 10 yards back. Great play right there. Let me know where you think this guy's going to end up playing. I don't think that he is committed anywhere. If he has, I apologize. When I looked him up, I didn't see nothing. But he is going to be a stud as far as the, uh, the next level goes right here I and mean, look at this look at this absolutely crazy I'm going to be at the DT position once again going to just manhandle the center and eat up that running back for no gain whatsoever as 53 takes it out on 15 because his teammate 90 is just killing him right there 
I'm going to be at the DT position once again on this play. And he, I mean, look at that. Two people, and he still makes the tackle. You cannot stop this guy. He is, he, if I was building a high school team, this might be the first player I pick up. Uh, I'll just be honest. He is just so dominant. Uh, I wonder if he takes plays off or if he's this dominant every single play. Because there's no stopping this man when he wants to get you. Uh, I mean, yeah, just go ahead and help him up because he's going to make the tackle the next play too. Um, right here, he is... Uh, ooh! He just threw that lineman down like it was absolutely nothing. Helps up the running back once again. They got some mutual respect because they know that every single play number 90 is going to be tackling them right here. Let me know also if there's someone else on this team that I should be checking out because they look like a very large team. I am assuming that they have some pretty good athletes on the team. And uh, these are the kind of players that you're going to be witnessing at the next level dominating their craft at the collegiate level right here. I mean... Okay, let's see here. Number 90, once again, just eating them up. That was third and 10. I'm not sure why they ran the ball right there, especially with this defensive line. I like these little power-up things. <laughs> you just don't know what's going to happen as he manhandles that uh, blocker and still makes the tackle. <laughs> these little animations are pretty sweet right there. I mean, what do you do in that situation? If you're the QB, you gotta be scared going against a player at this caliber because he can just kill it at any point as he won. He made that tackle with one hand, not even an arm, like a hand just took him down. And that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and let me know who I should be checking out next. And if you want me to check out your personal highlights, please just go ahead. Drop your name below, include your high school, and tell me why you think that one day you should be a collegiate athlete. And I'd love to check it out. And that's pretty much it. God bless.